EastEnders spoilers. Tragedy strikes for George Knight. George Knight is knocked out cold after engaging in an underground boxing match in Monday's episode airs 7.30 p.m. on Monday, April 15. Recent tragic events have turned the Vic Landlord's world upside down, and now George is faced with the difficult task of breaking the news to estranged son, Junior. He makes the call, but gets through to Junior's voicemail. Next, George rings Eddie Knight and asks if they can talk about Gloria. But as old wounds are reopened the conversation descends into a vicious showdown which leaves George teetering on the edge. Unable to contain his rage against the man who murdered his birth father, George is gunning for a fight. The former boxing champ heads to an illegal underground club, but is stopped by Phil Mitchell, who urges him against stepping into the ring. George won't listen though, and carries on with the bare-knuckle brawl regardless. But the night ends in tragedy when George is knocked unconscious by his opponent. Will he be okay? In the aftermath of last week's shock events, Johnny and Linda Carter meet with Sharon Watts, Denise Branning and Stacy Slater to make sure they've got their stories straight. The Walford Six were forced to come up with a new plan of action in order to cover up Keanu Taylor's murder. But just how watertight are their alibis? While the ladies, and Johnny, continue to plot, Gene Slater offers comfort to Jade Masood, who is struggling to process recent revelations surrounding her father Dean Wicks. Elsewhere, Patrick Truman is back in Warford, much to the annoyance of Pastor Clayton. Yolande Truman is overjoyed to have her man home and excitedly fills him about the church fundraiser she's been working on. However, jealous Gideon, who inappropriately touched Yolande then placed the blame on her, is annoyed that her focus has been diverted from him. Will he make Yolande pay for her rejection? Meanwhile, Patrick is shocked to hear that Denise Branning is living at Phil's after her marriage split. Feeling protective over D, the Trilby wearing Trinidadian confronts Jack Branning to let him know what he thinks about his cheating ways. Away from Patrick, Denise asks Yolande to keep shtum about her recent stay at the psychiatric hospital. But secrets have a habit of being exposed in Walford and it's not long before Patrick realizes his family are keeping something from him. And after months of hard training nervous Honey Mitchell and Jay Brown collect their race numbers for the London Marathon. In a first for the soap, EastEnders will air real-life footage of actor Jamie Borthwick completing the course in character. Jay is running the 26.2 miles in honor of brain tumor victims, including his late wife Lola Pierce Brown. But as Jay prepares for what will be one of his biggest challenges, his phone pings with a voice message from escort Nadine Keller, asking to see him urgently. Jay and Lola look alike Nadine struck up a brief connection last autumn as she helped him come to terms with losing his beloved wife. And it seems she's back on the scene. But what does Nadine want to tell Jay? Các bạn vừa theo dõi một sản phẩm của OK Super Lanster. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn video tiếp theo.